Welcome back. Today I'm going to be drawing a garden gnome, so let's get started. I'm first going to start with an oval shape for his nose, and then I'm going to draw a curved line coming around for the sides of his beard on both sides. So now what I'm going to do is just kind of make this uh, indent line that comes all the way around the bottom and sort of this uh, almost like half circle kind of shape here. All right, connected to the other side. I'm gonna add a, um, a detail line here for kind of the beard where it indents into his nose a bit here. And now we'll add kind of a little bump line that comes up for the sides of his hat on both sides. Okay, this line is gonna extend all the way up, kind of at a diagonal. You can see I'm kind of making it a little bumpy. I want it to look kind of worn, like he's been in the garden, like a real gnome. Let's flip this all the way over to this side here. And then let's bring up another line slightly diagonally in, and then we'll leave it overlap. So we'll bring another line out this way here. At this point, what I'm gonna do is extend this a little further and add a circle shape here for a flower at the tip of his hat. And then we'll add a bump line going all the way around. Okay, on this side of his hat, I'm actually going to add a butterfly. So I'm gonna add a circular shape on top and extend this kind of out and around for the butterfly's body. And we'll make two lines here for the antenna. And now a curved line kind of coming all the way back and bringing this down at an angle, kind of bump it in a little and then back in at an angle, in toward the body. And then the bottom wing is more of kind of a rounded shape. And then again, back in toward the body here. We'll add a little uh, piece for the wing right here as well. On the other side, we wanna indicate the other wing. So just line coming up to a point and then curving it back in toward kind of the head shape here. Okay, let's, while we're here, we'll start to indicate some patterns and designs on the butterfly's wings. Maybe a circle here, or just some lines to indicate some rectangular shapes. We usually have kind of these longer rectangular kind of organic shapes or oval shapes going around. Okay, let's come down here and start to draw the body of the gnome. So I'm gonna start kind of uh, about here, bring a line that is diagonally down and then slightly in. And we're gonna do that on both sides. So diagonally out and down, slightly in. We'll round it out on both sides for the top of the shoe and then bring a line kind of straight across the bottom, leaving an opening in the middle, and I'm just gonna make kind of this curved line that comes up and around, kind of like an arc, and then extend this line all the way across for the other bottom of the boot. All right, in the center here, I'm gonna add a rectangular shape for the center of the belt with another rectangular shape inside, a line coming across for the belt, Let's make the bottom of his shirt that comes across here. And then his arms are fairly easy. We're just gonna kind of hide them behind his back. So they just kind of come out diagonally and then back up toward his beard. All right, and that's gonna be the uh, drawing portion for our garden gnome. Let's get into adding some color. I'm first gonna start with a peach and I'm gonna fill in the color for his nose. go into a red color and I'm gonna fill in the color for his hat. I'm just gonna outline the hat and then I'll go back and just fill it all in with a broader tip of the marker. I know I'm so funny his nose kind of just sticks out of the uh, the bottom of the hat here. And such a fun character to draw, super simple. Um, but uh, again, so much fun. You can draw them in so many different ways. Give them some friends, maybe. 
Um, so again, a lot of creative stuff to be done with this drawing. I'm just adding a solid color for the hat. Uh, you can also add details on the hat, uh, just for time's sake here. I just felt to uh, save a little bit of time to add just a solid red color for the whole hat. Okay, I'm gonna open up a green and I'm gonna use the green for his shirt sleeves. And then his shirt here. Along the bottom of the shirt, and we'll just fill this space in. My shirt sleeve on the other side. Go back with an orange color and just fill in the uh, wings for the butterfly. It's like a deeper orange, but I kind of like that contrast between the deep orange and the, the black, and we'll fill I'm gonna fill that in too. So all these little detail areas I'm just filling in with orange. I'm gonna go back with my black marker now and Fill in the butterfly's body. And then around the detail areas of color. Okay, and while I have the blackout, I'm actually also gonna fill in the shape for the boot. And again, I'm gonna keep this pretty simple here. I'm just filling this whole kind of area with black. I'm also gonna fill in the belt with black. And I'll fill in the inside of the belt as well. I'm gonna use a yellow now and fill in a couple of things here. The inside of the flower, also the Belt buckle. I'm gonna finish off my drawing with coloring in the petals of the flower purple. And that's gonna conclude our drawing for the garden gnome. I hope you guys really enjoyed this one. It's a lot of fun to draw for springtime and give them a try. Okay, bye.